it's Lindsay here, the frugal crafter with another art marketing vlog. So it's all for all you guys, are you artists out there? Um, oh, that's my wicked good painting. That'll be, that's tour will be up pretty soon if you want to paint a slice of mane. Uh, anyway, today we're going to talk about um, Patreon. I'm going to talk about, um, well, I personally don't use it, but since these art marketing videos kind of run the gamut of um, helping you guys make a living as artists and um, I see a lot of uh, a lot of you guys are youtubers and you're trying to kind of make a go of it on YouTube and one way that a lot of people earn a full-time income is through sites like patreon and patreon is actually um, is supported by YouTube so if you are a creator and you use patreon you can actually put like a card on the screen somewhere and it will take you over there now I personally don't use it and I'll go into the reasons why a little bit later but I do see some people using it most of my colleagues here on YouTube that I know that I chit chat with use patreon and it is the only way they're able to make a full-time living um, through their art since they like to make the content either through um, YouTube videos or podcasts or other digital content which otherwise um, they'd just be doing for free, which is fine, but they wouldn't be able to put the time into it that they'd like to without getting something in, uh, back in return. Now, as you know, probably when you clicked on this video to watch it, an ad played. That's how I make my living. My background's in radio and television, ad-supported media. Um, I've worked in magazines. That's that's a, a, a business plan I am very comfortable with, and that's what I choose to go with exclusively, and also sponsorships. But it's all, it's all advertiser-supported. Um, but there are smaller channels that um, just will not get enough views to be able to make a decent living even if they are putting 40 50 60 hours a week into their channel and patreon is a wonderful solution for people um, for people like that or maybe your channel is such a niche channel that you couldn't get sponsorships because there just aren't products around um, what you are what you are informing people about teaching people about um, and then sometimes your some channels are just so well done. There's so much production cost because they have staff, they have researchers, shows that are educational, um, things like that that just need to be able to drum up enough money to pay the people that they hire to come in and help them with their videos. So I totally understand using Patreon for those um, instances and I think it's a very valuable tool. And there are a lot of people that just don't want to run ads because they don't want just random ads for anything showing up in front of their videos. And I totally get that and understand that. Um, and if you scroll through Patreon, you'll see some people are really killing it. They're doing great. They're making thousands of dollars a month. And then you see uh, many more that are making nothing or very little a month. And go doing my research and looking around and seeing what makes some of them successful is the value they're offering their um, their patrons. So I know of a um, of an artist that does speed paintings on her channel, but then for her Patreon subscribers, she gives the full length real time tutorials, which are you know hours long, which wouldn't really wouldn't do very well on YouTube, but are so it's a wonderful perk for their patrons patrons to have patrons. Oh my word, I can't talk today. Um, and there are like other designers that um, will give like free cutting files to their Patreon patrons or private Facebook hangout groups or um, some or if they're like doing like a professional type channel they may give um, advice on marketing or advice on video creating or advice on this or that through Patreon only hangouts or streams or you know private groups that they create for their patrons so the thing is the the channels that are really doing well or the um podcasters that are doing really well on patreon are giving extra value um to their clients or the customers to you guys to their fans um in exchange for whatever monthly bid now the thing to know here is that they are really working it. They're working Patreon, Patreon like a full-time job. Okay, so it's not just give me money because I want it. You know, the people that are really doing well are giving a lot back, giving a lot of value to their um, to their fans. So I just want to kind of put that out there. If you are considering that, be prepared to work it if you want to earn a living from it. Um, now, personally, I think that if you're an artist and um, you have like a really big project you're trying to do, I'm not talking about YouTube or podcasting, say you want to like maybe um, do a big outreach program to inner city kids or do an after school project uh, program for kids or do a um, like a public um, art project where you really want to do something really great but you don't have the resources to fund that and quite frankly if you're gonna spend weeks and weeks and weeks full-time working on a project you are gonna need to be compensated for that so that there's other places that are probably a little bit better there's um there's different 
crowdfunding places online. One in particular that I've heard good things about is called Hatch Fund, and 75% of their artists that propose um, projects that they want to do get funded. And what happens is that once somebody makes a donation, it's tax deductible. I'm not affiliated or I've never used this this site. I've never done crowdfunding personally. So if you are going to take part in any of these, please do your due diligence, research whatever you're considering um, teaming up with, make sure it's legitimate and that it is um, and is gonna work for you. But anyways, this one is a nonprofit and if somebody makes a donation, say somebody donates $100, they can actually, will get a receipt and they can deduct it on their taxes. Not all things are like that. I don't believe Patreon's like that. So that might be a better option for you if you're trying to raise a large amount of money so that you can create something big for the public, um, a program for schools, outreach program for children, something like that. It would be a much, um, a much better situation for you because you would get, um, you would get money quicker for that particular project and better for your donors because they would be able to deduct it on their taxes. Um, of course, they do research you and make sure you're legitimate, which is good because you want to know if you're donating to a company or a person through this company that, that is going to help people. And if it if you don't make your goal and you're not able to do your project, they take that money and they, um, and it's not like a commercial for them. I am not affiliated with them, but I just want to give you that option in case it's a better fit for what you're doing. Um, they take that money and they will um, look at somebody who's close to completing their goal and they'll say, listen, we'll give you this money. You put a call out to all your people and say that whatever they donate will match and so that money will go to make sure that another program happens. So 75% is a pretty big number. So that's, you know, you think of all the outreach programs, all of the public artworks, all of the, you know, arts in the schools, all these different things that can be funded by that. So you, if you're not a YouTuber and you're looking for help funding a big project like that, that may be a, a, um, a good option for you and that's called hatch fund if you want to go investigate it further okay so per so i also told you why i don't use patreon um for one thing i feel funny about asking you guys to pledge money to me when i clearly make money off of the advertising and the sponsorships on my channel i just don't feel right about it that's me personally i have nothing against anybody using patreon because i have no idea what any other youtuber makes you may think we all have a secret society and we have what are you making? Oh, psst, I'm making that. Everybody makes different amounts and you can't really tell by how many views they have. Um, you can't tell how much they're making. For instance, um, people are not paid per view. I think that's a misconception or paid by subscribers. You are paid by monetized views. And there's a calculation that, um, that YouTube uses to figure out what a creator gets paid. So like my channel gets a little over a million views a month. Um, and less than half of those are monetized views, which means uh, a view where an ad is present either in the sidebar or as an overlay on the video or before the video. So that's less than half already. And then you then for that amount you get paid a certain amount per 1000 so you divide that by a thousand and then multiply it by whatever your cpm is and it i guess on youtube average is about five but it could be anywhere from two to 25 dollars or even more depending on what time of year it is and what kind of ads are running and um then youtube takes 45 percent of that uh, of that money and then the creator gets the remaining 55% so it can be great or it can be lousy it totally depends on what kind of channel you have um, if people are watching on you know monetized platforms people watching on a, on a computer it seems like they um, <clears throat> YouTube pays more for people watching on the computer than watching on a mobile device I can't confirm that because I have no idea what anybody else is making on YouTube but um, so you can see it can fluctuate if um, there's a channel where maybe most of their viewers are young male that are likely to skip the ads, they're not making anything. People that are maybe more patient or, you know, would kindly sit through an ad or be more interested in watching what the ad is about, um, they get paid more. An audience with more women may get paid more than an audience with men. It completely fluctuates and I have no idea what anybody else makes, so don't even ask me. But when I see somebody that's getting you know, four or five million views a month and has sponsorships on every video and then asking me to support them on Patreon, I'm thinking, well, you know, I, I don't think that's really what it's intended for. I'd be much more likely to support the creator that's got, you know, um, a smaller channel that provides really great information that isn't going to make it, uh, that isn't getting sponsorships, that isn't, you know, going to make that much on their advertising. But that's just me. That's personal. It, you know, you can do whatever you want to do. But so for my feeling, I thought I feel pretty uh, cheesy asking people to support me on Patreon when 
I clearly am making money off of my videos other ways. So, you know, that's just a personal thing. Nothing against anybody else. I remember I heard this uh, interview with a guy who talked about, you know, getting back from from taking two months off and then taking his family to Europe and he was asking to support him on Patreon. I'm like, seriously, dude? I mean, come on. You know, <laughs> there are people out there starving that are living below the poverty line that, you know, are creating, creating great content. I think I'd rather. But I mean, everybody can do whatever they want. That's just my, my personal feeling about it. So that's why I don't use Patreon. Um, so I mean, take it with a grain of salt, you know, do whatever you want to do. That's just what I was saying. And, and also the time involved in Patreon. I think people think it's, it's, you know, free money and it's easy, but the people that are doing well are really working it. And I, if I was going to put that amount of time into an online thing, I would probably open up a shop or do, or, you know, or spend more time designing for my online shop at my Graphico because those have been, that's really been neglected lately. And I don't really like spending a lot of time on the computer. So, um, so there's that. I just wanted to put that out there. If you are really loving creating content or you're a podcaster or an artist who's looking to raise money for a specific project, I just wanted to to get those options out there for you so you can check them out and it might be the right fit for you not the right fit for me but that doesn't mean it's not the right fit for you hope you found it helpful um please feel free to discuss in the comments below i know a lot of you guys use patreon so if you want to hop in and uh, talk about your experience help others that are thinking about using it because i don't use it um that would be super awesome and i do thank you and appreciate it because you guys are so awesome helping each other out and i absolutely love it i want to thank you so much for watching today please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and until next time happy crafting